Rockets 100, Jazz 87 Salt Lake City, Chris Paul says that mid-range jumpers are like layups for him. The Houston Rockets have emphasized dunks and three-pointers in becoming one of the NBA's most efficient offenses but Paul's in-between jumpers proved to be the difference when long-range shots weren't falling. I wasn't joking about that, Paul said of his layup comment. If Rudy, Gobert's going to back that's what I'm going to shoot, Paul had 27 points and 12 rebounds while James Harden scored 24 points to power the Houston Rockets to a 100-87 win over the Utah Jazz on Sunday night, taking a 3-1 lead in the Western Conference semifinal series. It showed a lot of grit for us to come in here and win two games, Paul said. Paul, playing the sidekick to Harden for most of his first season in Houston, took center stage, controlling the tempo and getting to his favorite spots as the Rockets led from start to finish. Chris is shooting those shots like a layup, Harden said. He was extremely aggressive tonight, which we need from him. Donovan Mitchell scored 25 before fouling out and Joe Ingalls had 15 for the Jazz. Mitchell started finding lanes to the basket late and got the Jazz with an 85-80 after he fueled a 10-2 run, sending the crowd into a frenzy. But Paul, who matched his scoring high for this playoff run, hit a pull-up jumper and found Trevor Ariza for a three-pointer to put the Rockets back up by double digits and they never looked back. Houston, which has been known for their offensive firepower, put forth a disruptive defensive effort. Clint Capella, the anchor of the Houston defense, had 12 points, 15 rebounds and 6 blocks, one of which featured a Dikembe Mutombo-like finger wag in the fourth quarter. He missed 22 shots at the rim, Utah coach Quinn Snyder said. We had our chances and didn't convert. Some of them were contested. Some of them were open. You're not going to get any better shot. The Rockets went up by 15 in the second quarter before the Jazz closed to 51 to 46 on back-to-back three-point plays by Mitchell. Utah trailed 58 to 48 at the half. Neither team was accurate from beyond the arc, as the Jazz were 7 for 29 and Houston went 10 for 38. There's all different ways to win. We're not strictly a jump shooting team, Dan Tony said. Chris has the mid-range, James gets to the hole and you got Clint down there. We've got a lot of other stuff we can go to, sports on the 7th of May 2018.